Hello, my fellow Snarkitarians. Good morning. How are you? Um, it is a very dreary, gloomy, rainy day in Pennsylvania, um, but I am going to do a makeup review for you today. I've been excited to do this for a while. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to turn out, um, but I have a new lighting situation. Coffee just turned off. That's unfortunate. I'll probably need more soon. Um, facing a different way, just trying all my options with lighting and seeing how, how much that helps. So today I'm going to be talking about the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. Um, I'm not sure exactly when this came out. It's, I think it was early, earlier this year. Um, I have tried some of Ulta's products in the past. I never used any of their foundations before. <clears throat> some YouTubers like their uh, eyeshadow primer. Uh, I've seen some reviews on some of their pri uh, foundations, but I have not seen anything on this yet. So we'll give it a try. <laughs> there are 26 shades, which is pretty impressive. Um, however, I did a very poor job picking mine. I did it online and uh, I don't even know what, what shade this is. This is fair to light neutral. Some of the details of this foundation, it says creates a naturally perfected complexion with Ulta's Youthful Glow Foundation Serum Drops. This weightless and light as air formula both blends and blurs for a youthful look. The Silky formula contains skin perfecting ingredients that result in a luminous finish with light to buildable coverage. Marine Botanicals, skin loving algae promotes a youthful appearance. Coconut based emollients help hydrate and replenish skin moisture. Optical diffusers blur skin imperfections for a flawless appearance. We'll see about that. Um, this runs, I believe it's $18 at Ulta. They also came out with a kit of um, custom customizable drops, uh, foundation adjusting drops. There was a kit, it was a light color, a dark color, and then a little palette. And I was always one who would buy a foundation and just use it, whether it was the right color or not. I was never into mixing foundations to create like a perfect shade for me. I'm just like, whatever it is, it is. And that doesn't always turn out to be the best. So um, I saw these, this is the darker color. And then this is the lighter color, which is actually closer to my skin tone. I know I'm going to be needing the dark customizing drops because this is way too light. Um, just by looking at it. So you do have to shake it. It's paraben free and uh, oil free. I'm gonna shake it here. And this, ugh, this dropper is just not, it's a dropper kind of thing. And it's just kind of messy. It's very liquidy, if you can tell here. And it is definitely not my shade. <laughs> so we're gonna do, we're gonna play mixologist today and uh, see how that goes. So while I'm doing that, hope everybody's having a good week. Let me just say, let me let me ask uh, ask you guys. Ugh. So last night we were watching on HBO uh, a documentary on Fred Rogers called "Won't You Be My Neighbor." Has anybody seen that? Let me tell you. He was just the most exquisitely beautiful human being that has really ever walked the face of this earth in my time. Just so sincere. All he wanted to do was connect with kids and he knew that the best way to grow up as a healthy individual is to uh, be heard, know that you're being heard and being loved as a kid and that should continue throughout your, your adulthood. If you get a chance to see it, I highly recommend it. And I didn't realize he grew up in Pittsburgh, in the Latrobe area. So that was that was interesting. Only child can identify. Um, so anyway, I've got this mixed. It's very runny. I'm gonna mix this with my finger, and then I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna do what I did last time, and I'm going to apply half with a blender and a makeup sponge, and half with a foundation brush. Those drops are intense. You know, I thought I only needed one drop, which is what I put in initially, and then got cocky, and then put in another drop. Yeah. All right, it might be a little better. Okay, so here we go. 
I'm going to apply this side of my face with uh, the makeup sponge. I'm going to dot it on my face first. Wow, this is really thin, like almost watery thin. Just going to get some on my sponge and go at it. And I hope I have enough for both sides because if I have to mix this again, we are in trouble. This is actually working out better than I thought it would. And it's actually covering a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm going to go in now with my <clears throat> makeup brush on the other side. This is the It Cosmetics foundation brush. And I don't have enough foundation <laughs> to cover the rest of my face. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do this again. Wish me luck. It does have a smell to it. It's almost like a uh, kind of florally powdery smell, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not too god awful. It doesn't seem like it's going to last very long. This is. This is a little darker than what I wanted after I goofed around with it, but I'm actually quite surprised with the coverage. It is very light. It almost feels kind of powdery. I'm wrecking everything. And I kind of think that I like the finish of it better with the makeup sponge than with the brush. I think it just kind of diffuses it a little bit more. I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. I don't know how long this will last. I'm almost thinking that I might want to powder. I can't really tell if the evenness of the color is all across the board. So I will find out when I'm in slightly better lighting. Um, but I thought this, honestly, I thought this was going to be more of a disaster than it is. But like I said, we will see how this performs throughout the day. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on off camera and then we have a few things going on today. Well, not a few, just one. One big thing. We're going to uh, the creamery that's about half an hour away. And um, <clears throat> it used to be just like a pop-up beer garden, but now they've kind of bought the building and renovated the building inside. And it's really kind of uh, industrial, kind of chic sort of things. But they have on the one side um, hatchet throwing cages. So we're going to go hatchet throwing today. So I will probably be vlogging a little bit there and give you an update on how the makeup is, is uh, working out here. Then we'll probably come back here uh, home and have dinner and then call it a day. First impression, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. There is a nice kind of brightness to it that I wasn't expecting. It feels very silky, but again, I think I might actually have to put some powder down. It doesn't feel tacky, but it feels very, very silky and almost, almost powdery to the touch. So interesting. Overall first impression, I am uh, I'm kind of impressed. I'm hopeful. I'm feeling good about it right now. I kind of like the way my skin looks. And uh, I'll be back with you shortly. Yeah, you're on. OK, so my hair is done. My makeup is done. I <laughs> it took me about an hour to do my makeup because I went a little overboard on the eye look today. This is the uh, Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette from ColourPop and uh, kind of went a little bold, kind of went out of my uh, comfort zone with the blue. Um, look definitely says go and hatchet throwing. Clearly, that's what I was going for. So, you know, a little, little too glam for what I'm <laughs> doing today, but you know, why the hell not? You know, it is a, a makeup uh, blog, so I want to have fun with makeup, and I did. And I actually really like the look. I think it's, it's very pretty and... Um, Anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for the foundation. So as far as the foundation, um, I finished putting the makeup on around 8, around 10.30. And uh, 
went upstairs and started putting the rest of my makeup on. And it, within that like 10 minute period or so, I noticed that it was starting to look a little drier, um, especially on my chin. Again, uh, as a reminder, I have combo to dry skin, more on the dry side, especially in the chin area. But I did notice up here, um, starting to get some dryness and some texture up at my fine lines, or as I like to call them, the not so fine line canyons around my eyes. Um, so I don't know, I'm still debating. I might have to play with it. I wonder if maybe using it a color that's actually closer to my skin tone might help with that. Um, but I feel like it does look a little drier. It's supposed to be a serum foundation, a youthful glow. I don't know that I'm necessarily getting that um, before I put the rest of my stuff on. I do have highlighter on and I feel like it's kind of, if you remember Clueless, it's kind of a Monet from a distance. I think it looks really nice. Obviously it is lighter coverage. I didn't try to build it up. I didn't have too much to cover. I do have a couple um, pimple areas here and up here that it didn't cover. I didn't expect it to, but I'm okay with that. Um, it's not as glowy as I thought it would be. When I'm close up, um, I probably can't see it here, but there is texture here and here. And I feel like around my chin is really kind of dry looking too. But we're going to see how this wears throughout the day. Um, do uh, maybe a check-in or two before I go to bed and see if it's starting to wear away. It feels very, again, it still feels very powdery. I don't feel like it wore off when I put any of my other makeup on, but I feel like there's a potential to have it slide around throughout the day. I did not powder. I changed my mind and I decided I was not going to powder um, my face because I feel like once I got upstairs and put the rest of my makeup on, it started to dry down a little bit to more of a matte finish and I didn't want to make it look any drier than it already did. So I'm going to leave you guys for now. I'm going to change, um, do some check-ins, throw you my hatchet throw skills, which I don't know if I have any yet or not. We will find out shortly and I will see you soon. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. We are currently throwing hatchets right now, <laughs> and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Hello again, guys. Um, so I am not wearing uh, the same thing that I was before because this is actually the next day. It was probably not the smartest thing to try and do a makeup review and film all kinds of things the day before my birthday, <laughs> going out and getting rowdy and I uh, probably was not in the best frame of mind last night to uh, finish up my video. So I'm doing this now. This is not the, uh, the Ulta foundation on my face. Um, this is something else. It's actually the, um, my Holy Grail, the Physician's Formula uh, Healthy Foundation, which I love. It looks great. But anyway, my final thoughts, I do remember how it went. So stop, starting at the beginning, I think visually the product looks great and that's kind of what grabbed my attention in the first place of this thing is the bottle looks almost uh futuristic i really like the the uh gunmetal gray with like the silver topper and things like that problem is when you pick it up it's clearly light plastic it feels kind of cheap and chintzy which is unfortunate because i think the bottle itself has a really nice presentation the next thing that I wasn't thrilled about is the, um, it's in a dropper because it's in a, it's a serum foundation. So it makes sense to have like a dropper sort of, um, applicator. However, I like the squeezy tubes better than the, the button, uh, button one that this came in. The other issue I have is that when you go to put the dropper back in such, it's, it's liquidy, but it's kind of on the thick side. So it makes such a mess trying to close up the container again. It just, it just doesn't work for me in that respect. 
kind of feels cheap and then it's messy and I, I don't I don't like that um, the formula itself so if you recall I was very happy with the way it initially applied I, I like the sponge side better than the brush side I thought it applied nicely it applied evenly um, I also feel like it built up coverage very nicely without too much problems um, I did go then upstairs to put the rest of my makeup on it felt kind of almost silky or velvety to the touch which kind of surprised me because I mean it felt really nice it also felt like it might slip around a little bit but when I did actually go and put the rest of my makeup on I didn't have any problem with it moving around it, it seemed to be able to apply everything else on my face without too much problem but the one thing that really kind of bothered me is that this is the youthful serum foundation and so I expect it to be glowy I expect it to be dewy I expect it to have just like a very um, natural skin like look and texture on my skin I don't need a lot of coverage so I thought something like this would be be good for you know slightly more mature skin problem is since I have skin that's more on the dry side it almost looked like a matte foundation and as you may be aware I am not a fan of matte foundations because of my dry skin so by the time I went upstairs to apply the rest of my makeup I started noticing that if I had gotten um, some foundation up here near the old crow's feet, it was really starting to sink into the lines. And um, that kind of made me skeptical about how the rest of the day was going to go. The good thing was that it did not, throughout the course of the day, it didn't really break up uh, or dissolve on my skin or wear off um, inconsistently. It was, it was very consistent, seemed to have a nice wear down time. Um, so I was okay with that. So what happened by the end of the day? I think I had the foundation on for almost 13 hours and um, When I was getting closer to maybe the nine or ten hour mark when I looked in the bathroom I could see in the mirror. I could see that it was really dry and um, Kind of laying it was very cakey on my chin where I tend to get a lot of cakiness anyway because my skin tends to be dry here I did get um, some buildup and cakiness in the corner of my nose, the corners, both corners of my nose, and then of course the fine lines. Um, it was just really cakey and settled into the creases and I, I was not happy about that. So by 13 hours rolling around, the weird thing was that it almost looked like the, um, my oils were starting to come through again like they normally do. And it was almost becoming a dewy kind of um, look to my skin, which was, something that I was fine with, but you don't want to wait 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours until that happens if that's the kind of look you're going for. So it started to happen, but it was just way later than when I wanted it to. You wanted to apply like that on uh, the initial application. So in a nutshell, um, this is kind of a pass for me, not kind of a pass, it's a pass for me, Alta. I will continue to see if they come out with other kind of foundations. Um, I will try those. I have no problem doing that. You know, the, it was an $18 price point, which is a little bit more affordable, but it is creeping up there. You know, when you have like L'Oreal, even those foundations are coming up to like $12, $13, but then this is an additional $6 and it didn't live up to, the, to what it said it was going to do to be like a serum youthful. I didn't feel young in it. It didn't feel like a serum. Um, so that's a hard pass for me. Now, the adjusting drops from Ulta. And for $18, it comes with two vials, a light, uh, foundation adjuster and a dark foundation adjuster and also a little palette that I use all the time now for my other foundations and I've used this a couple times I've used the lighter one the only problem with the light one is I wish it was just a little bit lighter um, because my skin tends to be light I'm you know light sometimes fair depending on the shade the shade range that they have and for me to adjust it to be just a little lighter I feel like it needs to be lighter or brighter to make a visible adjustment to that foundation the dark one, on the other hand, and again, maybe it's because my skin is so light, I just needed one drop of that to really make a, a drastic change um, in darkening up the foundation. So that is something I have to be careful with, but usually one drop and I'm, I'm good so far. So I do like that. I will continue to use that, um, and I, I was happy with the, with the performance of that. I'm not somebody who tends to mix foundations or do adjusting drops. I always, always want if I'm going to get a foundation and it's too dark for me or too light for me, I'm like, well, I'll either bronze it up or, you know, wait till the summertime and wear it when my skin is darker. So in the long run, we had a hit and we had a miss. 
The other thing I wanted to mention about the adjusting drops is I really don't think that it changed. I have the, the Flower Beauty Illuminating Foundation and I use the lightning drops in that because it's just a little too dark for me. It'll be great in the summertime. It's a little too dark for me now. And I don't think that changed the dewiness. It's a very glowy foundation. I don't I don't think it changed the texture of the foundation or what it did to my skin. So like I said, I will continue to use the drops. As far as the foundation goes, it like I said, it was a it was a miss for me mostly because of the dryness. If you have oily skin, there's a very good possibility that it might work for you. So just because I'm saying I'm not liking it, it just it, it depends. I liked it initially with a little bit of adjustment. I liked it, but because my skin tends to be dry, it just got cakey. If you have oily skin, it may be good for oil absorption throughout the day and give you a little bit more luminosity. I think I hit all my points. Again, I apologize for not putting in um, updates throughout the day. I did put a couple, some of the ax throwing stuff in there. I was terrible, by the way. I was very frustrated because, of course, nobody in the group had done this before. This was everybody's first time, and everybody seemed to get the hang of it, except me, until the end. And then uh, we had about 10 extra minutes, and <clears throat> the guy said that we could just goof around if we wanted to. And, of course, I threw one, hit it right in the middle, right in the target of the bullseye. It counted for nothing, except a little bit of dignity at the very end of the day. But I did have a good time with it. If you ever get a chance to try it, um, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun with your friends. Um, so I will do it again. I do recommend giving it a whirl. And uh, that's it. If you have tried this uh, specific Ulta foundation and you wanna leave a comment, let me know how it worked for you. Maybe you have different skin than I do. Uh, younger skin, more, more plump, firm, <laughs> moisturized skin on a daily basis. So leave a comment down below. Again, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at Pesky Snarkitarian. And my friends, please do your best to always stay snarky. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. And cut. It's a wrap.